What's up, Aries, and welcome to my channel. I hope all of you guys out there are doing well. So, Aries, this is going to be your October. I guess we're going to say love reading. We're just going to say your October reading, all right? Because we don't know if it's going to be love or what's going on, you guys. Okay, so, this is going to be your future read for October. If things are the for you guys, go ahead and like this video and subscribe to my channel. So, we're going to start off with some angel numbers. We're going to see what angel numbers you guys could be seeing this October. I ain't taking all those, you guys. All right, so we're going to take this one on the top. We have 1144, okay? This is a reminder that you are responsible for the outcome of your life. To allow true change to enter your life, you cannot focus on the things that are happening now. Make sure your foundation is stable and firm and up for the challenge, okay, you guys? So, this is a reminder, Aries, okay, that you're responsible for the outcome of your life, okay? And if you got some things that's going on right now, you know, always don't allow yourself to focus on the negative or the bad things that's going on, okay? Look for the future. Think about the future. Never bad things happen. You know, it's hard to be like, oh, well, I know something bad is happening because right now you're going through some bullshit, but... Just having that this that that mind frame, you know, sometimes I kind of help you to push through the hard time, you guys. Okay. You also could be seeing the number twenty one. Okay, and you are being encouraged to become more independent, make your own decisions without the influence of others. You guys know how we can get some time. You know, you just want your friends' input or your family and friends, but oftentimes we don't need that damn input. You know what I'm saying? The universe here want us to be able to think for ourselves. You know what I'm saying? They don't want us to always have to go to other people for advice or, you know what I'm saying, for help. Sometimes they put situations and stuff in our way, you know, to see what we're going to do, okay, or what's going to happen with us. So let's start with the moonology. Let's pull a couple messages here, and then we're going to see what type of energy it's going to be around you guys this October, okay? So give me some moonology cards for my Aries beard. What's coming towards them this October? Messages for my Aries beard. What is coming toward my Aries this October? Messages for my Aries. Okay, so we have nothing will come of this situation, okay? Void, of course, moon, okay? So there's a situation maybe you've been waiting for something to happen okay you've been waiting for some type of movement okay but spirit is saying nothing's going to come of this situation as of yet okay doesn't mean it's not going to happen period but as of yet nothing is going to come of this situation you guys all right give me one more card for my aries all right and then we have emotions are running high. I don't know why you guys, I saw this with this super moon energy, okay? Emotions are going to be running high around the super moon. We got the total eclipse coming in November with the Taurus Scorpio line, you guys, okay? So there could be some emotions. If you have some Taurus or Scorpio placements in your charts, you guys, there could be some emotions that's going to be running high at this time. So let's get a couple messages through music, and we're going to see what type of energy here, okay? So give me a couple messages to music for my Aries spirit, and we're going to get into this energy. Messages for my Aries spirit. What's coming toward them in October? Give us this mood with, this, with the messages here, okay? So we have bittersweet, okay? So we have Fantasia, bittersweet, you guys, okay? So there could be a bittersweet event or bittersweet situation that's going to occur, you guys. Maybe you're going to be walking away from someone or you're going to be ending something. Something here, but it's going to be bittersweet. I feel like it's going to be something that needs to be done. But at the same time, you know, it's something that, you know, you could possibly feel a way about, you know? All right, so give me one more card, one more message to me just for my Aries spirit. And then we have emotional roller coaster, okay? Because we have emotions will be running high, okay? So whatever this bittersweet event or whatever this is that's coming towards you guys, okay? Your emotions going to be running high. And you can also be on a emotional roller coaster, okay? So this could have to do with someone that had you on an emotional roller coaster. And this was someone that you were trying to be lovers and friends with, okay? This is a situation that maybe you were trying to develop it into a, a friendship, you know, that you would want this person to also be your lover and your friend, okay? So, let's get some energy, you guys. Let's see what's going on. So, what's going on with my Aries here, here? What's coming towards them in the month of October, Spirit? What's on it? What type of energy is going to be around my Aries in the month of October? Messages for my Aries spirit. What type of energy is going to be around them in the month of October? You guys, anything that's resonating, don't forget to like this video, Aries. All right, Aries. We ain't going to type that. Messages for my Aries spirit. Okay. So we have, ooh, look at this. 
twin flame, okay? So some of you guys, this could be a bittersweet situation or your emotions could be running high with your twin flame, okay? And then we have if you only knew, okay? So some of you guys, there could be some information, okay? Some of you guys could be finding out some type of information about your twin flame, okay? And when you find out this information about your twin, this could be something that's going to have your emotions running high, okay? This is something that's going to have you on an emotional roller coaster here, okay? So give me a couple more energies. And we're going to see what's going on. All right. So we have the truth is going to hurt you. Okay. So you could be finding out some type of truth about your twin flame or something around this full moon, this super moon, or in the month of October, you guys. And whatever this truth is that you can be finding out about your twin, okay, this truth could hurt you. So we're going to go ahead and get into this tarot. We ain't got time, you guys. We ain't got time. We ain't got time. Let's get into this tarot. So, Spirit, tell us more about my Aries. What is this truth that they're going to be possibly finding out that could hurt them, okay? What is this truth my Aries could be finding out, Spirit? Or what, do they, what do they need to know? What's coming towards them this October? Messages for my Aries. All right, Aries, let's get into it. So, what do my Aries need to know about their twin flying, Spirit? What's coming towards them? All right, so we have, okay, the death card. Okay, so your twin could be going through some type of transformation, okay? This is someone that could be closing out cycles. You know, they're trying to go through some type of rebirth. They're trying to change their ways, okay? Because this is someone that's realizing that they can't continue on doing the same things that they have been doing, okay? This person doesn't want to continue to hurt you anymore, Aries, okay? So your twin could be going through... Some type of transformation, okay? But this person may not be able to communicate with you, okay? So some of you, maybe you've been waiting on some type of communication, okay? But you're not going to get that communication possibly from your twin in the month of October, okay? Because your twin is going through this transformation, okay? All right, so tell me why my Aries twin will not be able to communicate with you. Tell, tell me more about the eight of wands, spirit. Why did I, oh, I think, okay. Okay, so some of you guys, this person's not able to communicate with you, okay? Because this person is still trying to juggle. This person's still trying to make some type of decision about something, okay? They're still indecisive. You can be dealing with the Scorpio, Fire Sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or an Earth Sign, Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn, okay? So right now, you cannot be receiving any communication from your twin because this person's still indecisive, okay? This person's still juggling. But what are they still juggling here, Spirit? What is this person still juggling? This regret that they have, okay? Crying over spill me. feeling like they have lost you, Aries. All right, you guys. That's all I have. Please like, share, and subscribe.